so my name is Christina Buffer and I'm uh, working at the Fraunhofer Institute of Applied Polymer Research, which is located in Potsdam Goyum, close to Berlin, in the southwest of Berlin. And we are concerned uh, with uh, uh, oil or many types of polymers, starting from biopolymers uh, up to um, um, electric and, um, uh, electrical conducting polymers. And um, so I am personally in the division of the functional polymers and devices, and we are working on organic electronic device development and also deep material development. At the Fraunhofer IAP? At the Fraunhofer IAP, yes. And for example, behind you, I see something to do with quantum dots, organic light emit emitting diodes, OLEDs, and uh, what would you like to talk about first? Um, as I already mentioned in the, big, uh, in the introduction, uh, we are working on um, organic, uh, organic electronics in general and we have been busy in this field uh, since 25 years, starting with uh, OLED uh, research. So uh, we, we are uh, working on uh, development of OLED materials and OLED device uh, stacks and this is a field where we still uh, are working on. Um, about 12 years ago, we started to work on quantum dot development, so we are focusing on the um, um, development of um, platinum-free quantum dots, uh, so-called eco-friendly quantum, quantum dots. Our focus is on materials based on indium phosphide for red and green um, emission and uh, uh, on zinc selenide for blue emission. We have some uh, examples here on the um, on the poster, so you can see here devices that were made from red and green indium um, phosphide and the blue zinc selenide, uh, which was doped with uh, tellurium. And um, a second focus that we have, besides the material development, is the development of processing technologies. So one of the uh, focuses setting up instrumentations and uh, process technologies that are able to um, to make processes for uh, for the, the um, manufacturing of organic electronic devices and uh, this, um, this this is a combination of methods which are suitable to do large area processing such as uh, as a slot eye coating or for lab scale tests also spin coating or plate coating and uh, we also are using digital processes and there our focus is on inkjet printing and EHD jet printing. The inkjet printing limits is limited with respect to the um, uh, ink formulations to low viscosity inks and um, a resolution I would say down to 20 to uh, 40 micrometers EHD jet um, has the advantage uh, to be able for, to print high resolution, for instance, here you see an example where we have a dot size of uh, about 10 micrometer, and also the same is here. And um, the second advantage of the EHD jet is that the uh, viscosity range that is accessible is larger than for ink jets, so we have a viscosity range that is covering four orders of magnitude, and so in this case here we have been printed quantum dot materials into a bent structure which were resolved in a resin and uh, these structures have a height of a micrometer and we can even make them thicker if we have the right bent structure to print in. And uh, these are examples that may be used later on as color fil filters for instance for micro LEDs. Uh, so Fraunhofer is famous for developing inventing a whole bunch of crucial stuff that's just being used by billions of people every day uh, and it could be in audio and displays and and a lot of stuff is happening in a nano technology world right that's true yeah and um, yeah i may show just go through some examples. Uh, for instance, here we have been active in a binational project uh, with a company in France and a company in uh, Germany for developing processes for uh, ambient uh, solution processing of wallets in order to address 
by inkjet printing, uh, customized um, applications that could be um, could be used for also small scale and uh, um, cheap or uh, low cost uh, production of OLEDs. Um, another pro example is shown here where we did a high resolution printing using the AEHD jet. This is an active matrix uh, OLED and uh, we printed uh, one layer by EHD shed into the pixel defining layer of this type of um, active matrix backplane and uh, then um, finished the display, uh, the display by spin coding in this case um, and what you see is the logo of this AU, pro AU project and this uh, system has 20, uh, 60, uh, 4000 single pixels that need to be printed and our goal is to make such a process uh, scalable, really to large scale, that it may be used into, uh, into um, production later on. Uh, this is all fascinating stuff. And you, when you develop this stuff, you have prototypes, but then you work in collaboration with other companies that want to mass produce this. Yeah, that's true. There's one example shown here. This was a collaboration with different companies uh, where a pilot line has been developed within this project um, in order to do a mass production of these types of barcodes. And uh, our goal in this project was to develop the printing processes by Inkjet in a way that it can be scalable and can be uh, uh, set into mass production. So the requirement here was to achieve a printable a print process that allows uh, printing of a substrate of 400 times 500 uh, millimeters within two minutes uh, so do the whole processing and printing drying steps with this type of um, repetition rate. All right. Uh, and we just had one poster. You mm -hmm. have another one. Yeah, the other poster shows the capabilities that we have in our institute. So what you see here this is a view in our clean room. We have a clean room facility of uh, about 300 uh, square meters. And this clean room is equipped uh, with all the, the equipment that you need for the uh, processing of organic electronic devices. So you see here a picture of our pilot line. It's 50 meter long. And we have the different deposition processes uh, set into the uh, pilot line. We have injured printing, we have flat eye coating. We have PVD deposition, we have lamination, and we also have an uh, atomic layer deposition for the encapsulation, and um, we are carrying out uh, different uh, projects in the, in the moment to um, um, use the AAD for ASA encapsulation of uh, organic electronic devices where we need barrier performance properties of uh, 10 to the minus 6 uh, gram per square meter a day. And we are also working on the deposition of noble metals, for instance, uh, for applications of uh, membranes, for selecting, um, um, for instance, uh, for, for, for filtering, for instance, uh, basic. Um, what you see in addition is this equipment that we have at the different places, uh, like um, um, inkjet printers, printers that we are using. Um, the, this is the AHD uh, jet printer and we also have the equipment for the characterization like profilometry, bending tests, AFM, four-point probe and uh, one of the central pictures what you see here is the need um, that is or the, the requirements are necessary to uh, develop inks, uh, the combination of um, requirements that are needed in order to get at the end an optimized printing result and uh, the, the instrumentation that we have together with the characterization enables us to do the ink development uh, for customers who are interested in um, uh, also upscaling production with ink shed printing or other printing techniques. So you have the cutting edge best printed electronics uh, like research facility? I think, uh, I mean, it's always nice to have something more, but uh, we have um, facilities 
for doing all the processes that are necessary to produce this type of uh, electronic devices and uh, also the characterization facilities for those and uh, for us it's it are these are the cutting edge um, facilities yes nice um, what kind of discussions do you have here at the nanotechnology conference um, People want to work with you and all kinds of stuff. Okay, um, I have to think a moment before I yeah. <laughs> talk into the camera. Um, to come to nanotechnology for us, it's important uh, to meet people from the same area uh, as we are working on. For instance, we had a uh, long cooperation with the nanotechnology lab uh, here in um, Thessaloniki and there's a close um, exchange of information with them. That's an important uh, task we have. Uh, but it's also important to meet uh, project partners that we also already have, or maybe future project partners in the field of printing, but also in the field of material development.